Now, after a career in Irish rugby that's lasted over a decade, Carlo native Sean O'Brien hung up his Leinster jersey on Saturday after a victorious win against the Glasgow Warriors. All weekend, legends have been coming out to pay tribute to the Leinster player. Johnny Sexton referred to him as the best forward in the game. And Brian O'Driscoll even claimed Sean O'Brien was an exceptional player that he would go to war with. And he joins us now. Sean, great to have you here. Obviously, confirmation at the weekend that you're out for six months with a hip injury. Not the way you would have wanted your Leinster career or now possibly even your Ireland career to end. Yeah, um, yeah it was just one of those things, though, that I had to call it um, as such and when I, uh, I probably knew over the last few weeks that it was uh, getting um, beyond trying to manage it through, uh, through the next couple of months and, and etc. And, How long um, has it been a problem, Sean? It's probably been a problem now for over a year. Uh, so I've been, I've been trying to manage myself as best I can during the week with load and everything else. And, um, and what's the road to recovery going to be like, Sean? Like, could yeah. this end your career? It possibly could, yeah. It possibly could. It's it's a shot in the dark, really. It's it's going to be a whole re a resurface of my hip joint. So, um, so same as Andy Murray. Yeah, very similar, very similar up. So um, we'll see where it takes us. But it's one that I'm uh, I'm you know excited about if it works, and um, you know it'll it'll keep my career going for another few years. You, you've had, in in fairness, or sadly, you've had an awful lot of injuries over the last couple of years, uh, and. Um, I'm just wondering how, for somebody who plays the way you do, as wholeheartedly and sort of almost overcommitted um, the way you do, how frustrating has that been and how hard is that to deal with? Because yes. I don't think you're, you're a good um, observer, are you? <laughs> no, I'm not a good observer, but I've probably learned to be, um, you know, to deal with these patience? things. Yes, yeah, I've, I've, I've definitely, my patience has grown a lot over the past few years. Um, I think I think you just learn to deal with the disappointment initially, which has obviously happened a fair bit to me. But then you give yourself something to look forward to, and you're always thinking of the bigger picture as well of um, you know being a part of the, something special with a group and how you can influence that and all those things run through your head. Everything that that's that you look forward to, I suppose, um, getting back, they all run through your head, and that's what keeps you going every day, mm. going in before the lads are training and um, doing your rehab. You know, and it, you could be doing two or three rehab sessions a day. And it's um, and you're on your own just with your rehab coach and um, I've I've had a, a pretty good one in in Fergal and Leinster who's um, had to put up with a lot of bad moods and um, <laughs> me being contrary on days but um, uh, no they're brilliant to the look after. In the gym, were there? No, there wasn't. I, I, when you're doing rehab, it's funny you probably train twice as hard as well um, and uh, people don't really realise that when they say, when they think you're injured, you're just you know you let the injury heal and you come back. But yeah. a lot a lot of work goes in. And obviously no World Cup, Sean. How tough is that to take? Yeah, it's a tough one to take because, um, you know, if, if, if the lads went on and won it, which, which, you know, they're in a great place to do, um, I'm not sure how I'd feel about it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You'd missed out on something that big, but it's... Um, I'd only be bluffing if I, if I tried to manage this for the next few months to, to get to a World Cup and um, I'm not training or performing the way I want to and know I can at the minute, so that's why, um, that's why I'm going to have this up. Actually, I mean, obviously the injuries would be very um, frustrating and not getting out on the park and all the rest of it, but um, when, when you hear how your colleagues feel about you as a player and the fact that you, know, you yourself wouldn't have felt that you've lived up to your potential over the last year or two, is that, is that I mean, when Johnny was saying those nice things, it was lovely to hear, but it was a bit bittersweet for you. Um, I'm not sure if it was, you know, it's, uh, I think, you know, Johnny and me have a, a really good relationship. Most of the time he's, he's uh, letting fly at me at training <laughs> about something. But, you know, to hear someone like Johnny say those things about you is, is, is nice to hear. And, and um, Well, the gesture of, of letting you lift the cup, I yeah. mean, that's extraordinary. Yeah, it was, that, was, that was a major one for me. And I texted him the next day again, just saying, you know, that meant an awful lot to me. Thanks, thanks so much, because um, he kind of sent me a message the night before saying that I want you to lift the cup with me. And um, I was thinking, Jesus, 
great honour to get. Like obviously, and then when he when he was handed to me, I was like, right, let's go. And he was like, no, no, you're going on your own. So yeah, because not many people get to yeah, do that. Yeah, there's, there's only been two. I think uh, Isa and um, Leo. Leo. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it was a, it was a great honour for me and a touch of class by Johnny and and Reese as well. Reese is vice captain. So well, I think the pro all the lads probably had it. Listen, I'm planning. I think I'm going to do this. And how do you feel about it? And it would have been a there would have been a consensus. Everybody would have said, yeah, yeah that's the right yeah. thing to do. But it, yeah. it says a lot about how how they feel about you, not just as a player, but also as a, as a man, as a person. Yeah, yeah, it, it probably does, you know. They never say it to my face, probably, <laughs> on, on a day-to-day -day basis. But, um, mm. you know, on, on occasions like that, I suppose, um, you know, it, it shows the, the brotherhood we have and how close we all are. Can I ask you, just before we get off the injury, can, can, I, can I ask you, because I said this to you before as you sat down, I, you, you remind me a lot of Stephen Ferris and the way people talked about you, world-class player, wrecking ball on the pitch and all the rest of it. Mm. Um, and it's the way you played. And I don't imagine you would do things any differently. But it's an awful high price to pay, you know, that you yeah. would have a shorter career than you possibly should have by virtue of that. Do you, do you, any regrets about that? No, I don't, to be honest. It's, it's just, I think it's part of your makeup, the way you play. And uh, some, people, some people play a very abrasive and, and physical game. And, you know, earlier on, earlier on in my career, that was the case. And, um, you know, certain things catch up with you. But all my things have been big, uh, kind of, they've been breaks or... There've been big things. I haven't had ongoing like um, ankle issues or knee mm. issues or anything like that. If you know what I mean, of all the big things that's happened, um, and um, but no, I wouldn't change it for the world. That's the that's the type of player I am. Despite the fact that you might be crippled with arthritis and rheumatism by the time you're forty too. It looks just it'll be all right too. <laughs> <laughs> and to look at the positives, Sean. Though, what are your standout moments for Leinster in Ireland? That's a hard one there. Um, probably one of my standout moments for Leinster is definitely the 2011 Heineken Cup final. Um, it was, uh, we were, I think, 20 points down at half time and um, came back to win it. Yeah. So that's definitely one of Johnny's them. Johnny's famous Liverpool speech. <laughs> yeah, he gave a bit of a speech. It wasn't, it wasn't that famous, I thought, now. It's not <laughs> 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 probably get me for that one, but it was. Uh, He'll be taking back yeah. those nice words. Yeah, yeah, but no, it was just, uh, it was a brilliant game to be involved in. And then for Ireland, um, I think your first cap is always very special for Ireland uh, against Fiji, and we've had some great days as well um, in the Rugby World Cup in 2011, a few cracking games. and few games against England as well so um, you know it was just it was special every time you put on the green jersey and um, I'm glad I got to do it as many times as I did. Now um, all things going well you'll be playing for uh, for London Irish um, um, in next season or oh, will you be I mean, I mean you wouldn't you no way you're going to start the season so you'd be looking to come looking to come in what towards the latter end of it all things going well? Um, probably uh, the end of February hopefully okay um, so I'll, I'll head over there probably end of November sometime and... Um, Could uh, the injury impact that move, Sean? Yeah, well, it's, it's not going to impact that move, but it'll, I'll, I'll, I'll do a lot of rehab here first with Leinster because I'm still contracted to Leinster and there are a few till the end of the World Cup. Mm -hmm. So I'll do a lot of rehab here first and then uh, transition into, into their setup. Um, so uh, they, know, they know everything now at the minute as well, so they're, they're, they're happy enough. But even at this stage, um, you, you must be looking at the next phase of your career. I mean, you're what, you're 32 now, is it? Yeah, 32 now, yeah. Okay, yeah. so I, all things going well, you might get, what, another two, three years at the very top level? What, what, have you plans for afterwards? Do you know what you want to do? Is it back to the farm? Um, there's a few bits and pieces. Yeah, the farm is obviously a, a thing I could go back to, but um, I could... Uh, might start working for super value. <laughs> <laughs> you might have a string of super yeah, values. Exactly. You might have a string Chain of super them. values eventually. Um, yeah, that's what I suppose there's bits and pieces like that I'll get involved in, like at the minute, um, you know, with time off and stuff. Um, have you got a queue of people looking for you to be a brand ambassador and get involved in It's not I, I I kind of I I don't jump at everything. Mm -hmm. uh, it's probably things that suit me. Um, you know, so, you know, speaking of super value there whole thing with, um, you know, coming into barbecue season now and everything and uh, the, the board be assured for, for their meat and, you know, that's probably a big thing that's important to me and, um, you know, so they're, they're trying to push out their, their, their branches and, and get to their butchers, their local butchers in every super value outlet. So that's something that I'd be interested in. I'm a big fan of cooking as well, so... Um, Are you a good cook? Yeah, I am a good cook, actually. I'd back What's your myself dish now you cook cooking. for everyone? Um, what would be well, my we're dish? always looking for chefs, so... <laughs> <laughs> what would be the dish that I'd go to? I'd probably go to... I like homemade burgers. Um, I also like seafood chowder. 
um, okay. from scratch, healthy one. So you're welcome here any day. Yeah, so. yeah. So <laughs> yeah, but there's loads of things I suppose afterwards. I'm not sure what I'll do. Probably into a bit of coaching as well, um, if possible. You'd stay involved in the game though, would you? I think I will for a little bit, yeah, and just see if I can see if I really enjoy it as much as I do playing. So it's there's a few avenues I'll uh, I'll have I have to have a look at. Any yeah. chance that the the fellas in Leinster might have to um, you know um, get a nice suit and their their other halves might have to get a nice hat anytime soon? No, oh, I wouldn't <laughs> say anytime soon, but probably in the next yeah in the next few years maybe. Oh, you heard it here <laughs> first, I'll tell you. Sean, it was a pleasure. And would you do it in Carlo? Or would you do it in, uh, over in the West? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'd, have to, I'd have to have that discussion. That's, that's, we've tried enough, Sean. Listen, uh, I, thank you for everything, for, for the enjoyment and the thrill and, and the passion that you've, you've, uh, you've, you've shown in the game and the, the pleasure we've got from watching you playing and, and the great days we've had when you've been playing. Thanks a million. And Thank we you. hope we'll have plenty more of them as well, and that you will too. Cheers. Absolutely. Thanks, Sean. Thank you. Now, how does a parent overcome the tragic loss of a child? Well, after the break, uh, we'll be speaking with Colette Wolf about how she did just that.